much, though. Uh, James, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, joining us now to discuss constitutional law attorney and former prosecutor Amir Benno and distinguished university professor at Turo College, Thane Rosenbaum. Um, Thane, I'm going to start with you. Um, and I want to I want to try to get to this this point. Um, it seems like Democrats have been trying for quite some time to create an environment or a legal situation in which Donald Trump could not run for office again, because he certainly has the popularity within the GOP to take one step forward after another. Um, now you're talking about possibly uh, a violation of the Presidential Records Act. Uh, archives, which uh, could be argued over, that's yours, that's not ours, you can't have that, you can't have that. Do you think they're going after him on that in this case? And is there a penalty to the point where he would not be allowed to run for office? Well, Bob, you know, the Presidential Records Act does not contemplate a criminal proceeding, right? It really contemplates the idea that the president should be providing the archives from the presidency to the National Archives. But as you just pointed out, that doesn't mean that there are no conversations between the president and the archives about some things that the president keepsakes, mementos that he or she wants to take with them. But it doesn't, the language of the statute itself says nothing about a criminal proceeding. They would have to out, reach out to some other part of the criminal code about the destruction of federal property or federal records. Uh, and again, that's what you have to ask yourself here. Uh, did did the FBI actually go before a federal magistrate and say that we have specific confidential documents that have national security implications that if released would be detrimental to the United States and that we are reason to believe that the president is about to destroy it? Short of that, I just don't understand how they got this warrant because this is the kind of thing you, at the at the most you get a subpoena to do what we're describing now as a raid, the kind of thing we see on TV for kidnapping, kidnappings and drug busts, hmm. this seems like an incredible amount of government over, uh, overreach and abuse of power. Yeah, thank great points there. And, and further on that, um, uh, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz was uh, with us on Newsmax last night talking to Rob Schmidt. And he also said this unprecedented raid should have been a last resort, as you just said. Listen to what he, he shared. A raid is supposed to be a last resort, but this administration has used the weaponization of the justice system against its political enemies. It's arrested people, denied them bail, put them in handcuffs, used all kinds of techniques that are not usually applied to American citizens. Uh, yeah, Amir, I mean, we're hearing a lot of what uh, Mr. Dershowitz is saying there being said today by the GOP that the justice system now is being weaponized for uh, political agendas. Your take on all of this, and also, is this a process that seems normal or is this extreme? No, this is highly unusual. And I would agree that uh, there is a politicization and weaponization of our national security apparatus to uh, advance the interests uh, of the Democratic Party. Um, and that should trouble everybody. I mean, look, we had an FBI office within the, the law firm of Perkins Coie, which was uh, the DNC's counsel. That should, that should make everybody uh, uh, the, the hairs on their neck bristle. And to Bob's question before as to whether or not uh, a conviction on uh, some sort of records destruction would uh, prohibit or preclude the president or the former president from running again. Uh, Mark Elias, who was with Perkins Coie, seemed to suggest in a tweet that it would. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is that the Constitution sets the guidelines for what the qualifications for president, not Congress. Uh, the Supreme Court's dealt with this uh, when in, in dealing with qualifications uh, for the House of Representatives. Same analysis would apply here. So, no, a conviction. Uh, even if he were convicted, uh, if he were prosecuted and convicted for destroying governmental records uh, under the PRA, uh, it would not prohibit him from being elected or even running uh, for the office. Yeah. You know what I don't get, Thane, is how does a local magistrate give uh, permission to go into a former president of the United States residence when he's not there, in force, by the way, um, I've seen estimates 100 people. I don't know how many there were, but dozens, it appears, take out 15 boxes, and a local magistrate can do that? How, how has that happened? 
Bob, my mouth is not wide open now, but it was when I first heard it, because I agree with you. Uh, you know, first of all, if you're the magistrate, where's your humility, for God's sakes? Yeah. I think you step back and say, whoa, 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 this is the president of the United States. I am not confirmed by the Senate. I've not been appointed to a lifetime appointment. This needs to go up to a federal judge. I am just a federal magistrate. And how could uh, Attorney General Garland be okay with that? He had to have signed off on this. So you would have think he would say, no, 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 we can't just let a magistrate do this. Mm -hmm. And again, the specificity of the warrant, Bob and Katrina, it should say, this is exactly what we're looking for. Sure. This is exactly why it's important. This is why it's classified. The president had no right to declassify it. And we have evidence to believe it's about to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's why we must go in. Unless they could make that case, I, I, if I was a magistrate, I would have laughed in their face. Yeah, right? and that doesn't sound gotta... like it doesn't sound like something where you come out with 15 boxes. It right. sounds like you come out with maybe 15 pieces of paper. Right. Also, also, I understand that he already gave them 15 boxes. So maybe there was True. yet another Months 15 ago. boxes. But yeah. it does show that there was cooperation. It wasn't like he was stonewalling them entirely. They, he had been cooperating. He'd been giving them documents all, all right. along. So all right. what's the fire? What mm -hmm. was the fire unless it was for optics, you know, yeah. to make yeah. a case before the midterms or to show an abuse of power? Yeah, well, of course, we'll be watching this and we shall see and let you know as we learn more. Amir and Thane, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank Coming you. up, more in our top story. Uh,